Uh, tell me a little bit about your... So who are you then? <laughs> I am Bradley Hasemeyer. 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 Welcome to TransLogic. I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. Well, another year in the books and another banner year in the world of transportation. So let's take a TransLogic trip down memory lane. We visited a world-class track in Austin a few times. We found an ATV that transformed into a jet ski and watched a plane transform into a car. Rode shotgun with a Formula One champion and we test drove EVs on two, three, and four wheels. So here it is, the best of TransLogic 2013. Here we go, in the Impulse R. Whoa! <laughs> oh man, this thing gets moving. So a couple things to know about this. It's a six speed. What? I thought it's electric. I thought it's an EV. It is. All of those things, my friend. They found out that what the customer wanted was the ability to be off the line quick and also have high end top speed. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Zero to 60 in four seconds. Pulling about a 1.3 lateral G, about 300 horsepower equivalent, 600 pound feet of torque. Oh. The steering itself is a little bit of an electric assist, which is nice. The suspension is pretty flat when you're turning. Not, you know, not a whole lot of movement going on. The brakes are nice. Kind of throw them on right now. You know. <laughs> Kids, don't try that at home. This is 14. Oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are in the Nissan Leaf Nismo RC. Oh. There we go. So that's gonna get us up to 60 miles an hour in 6.8 seconds. That doesn't sound very fast, but with 100% torque off the line, oh, it feels like I am moving. This car is insanely balanced. As I'm taking corners, there's none of this. It just stays flat and grounded. Look at that, oh. <laughs> it just wants, to, it wants me to challenge it. And I'm up for the challenge. Sky to nothingness, sky to Mercedes. Wow. That is a cool car. in no time. The brakes are huge. They bite so well in this car. Going through a chicane, the car feels very flat. There's a little bit of roll, but that's just me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there was a little bit of wheel squeal. <laughs> Sorry, Mercedes, take it easy, girl. Take it easy. One and a 360. TV portion of the exercise. <laughs> I use my thumb to shift right here. Just like in your car, maybe, if you have an automated manual, you tap up, tap down. That's exactly how this is. This automatic BMW engine's really impressive. That's crazy, I was just on the land going 45 miles an hour around a sandy track. And now I'm just out here in this channel. Reference. Chip chart. This is white. It's very sensitive as a driver. He can translate his feedback into engineering feedback to make his race car better. Why not help us make our cars better? 
Sebastian took the Q50. Evaluate, steering, handling, chassis dynamics, braking performance. He was brutally honest. The steering is too lazy in the beginning, but the side support from the seat is better. Now we want to go even further. We have a new product coming out uh, in two years from now called Q30. Yeah. Which is kind of like an entry level premium compact. Yeah. What you really would like to do is a super sports car, a proper performance yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. We got Sebastian in, benchmarking product for that category. Okay. Here we are in the BMW i3, rolling around downtown. This is probably the perfect place to be testing this kind of car out because this is where this car is meant to live. It is supposed to be an urban commuter where your top speed isn't really all that important. This thing goes 80 to 100 miles on a full charge, fully recharged in three hours on a level two charging. Awesome. Yeah, that's a flying car. So we're here with Carl Dietrich, the CEO of Terrafugia. Thanks so much for being with us. Hey, thanks, Carl. Is it a car that flies? Is it a plane that drives? It's a little bit of both. We usually think of it more as an airplane, an airplane that has the added capability of driving down the road at highway speeds, parking in a single car garage. Right. Yeah, it was a stellar year. 2013 kept us going from beginning to end. And the pivot move right there. You weren't even ready for that. All right, that's it for TransLogic. I'm Bradley Hazard. Yeah, there we go. See you next time. <laughs>